So guys, welcome to this new devlog about control rigs. And yeah, it quite some time passed since I did the last one. And there are two reasons for it. One, I was moving to a new place and you can imagine that's a lot of effort <laughs> and a lot of boxes you have to carry around. But yeah, it's almost fully done and I'm very happy to do this new place. I might more or share more details in another video, hopefully and show you my desk because there i'm very happy about it and yeah another reason was oh, this topic was so complex to get it working held object uh, locations with control rig like we have in our held object editor from tv toolbox which i showed um, how to implement it fully in blueprint in the video in the description down below and yeah as I said, this topic was very complex with control rigs. I, I was very confused in a lot of sessions. So yeah, so yeah, guys, if you supported me and yeah, had me yelling, uh, heard me yelling and crying, thank you for your open ears. I was very happy to have you on my side and get some ideas how I can get it working or some. You're just listening and said, yeah, it's not working and I don't know why. So let me show you how you can work with this editor. Basically, you move this yeah, rifle around and if you're happy with the location, you go back to the root component and then you click on apply. And yeah, I already prepared some values. It's not done very properly. I show this in another video um, if we work on Twin Blast. But yeah, this approach was very limited because um, you could not move around the arms or the hands basically and also this pose might mess up your uh, arm basically because the rifle is intersecting with the arm and so on you could really fine tune it and so on if you work on this array but then you need to know which frame it is and so on and that's a lot of work guys that's a lot of work which we don't want to do for two hand poses basically but yeah i was stuck for some some weeks because i did not know how to solve it but then a guy came up and said hey Arim, why you don't use control rigs and i said no please not it's such a pain in Unvention 4 because engine crashed all the time and auto compile did not work we had no proper rig and so on and yeah i just did not like this feature to be honest because it was not that stable or did not work how i expected it but now in unrendered 5 it works perfectly fine really i can really recommend using this feature for your workflows for such small tasks we have here it's a perfect solution for me i don't have to mess around with export and import settings anymore <laughs> and also i can properly place this rifle like we had in the workflow before with this ui here it's sure it's not perfect yet <laughs> i'm still prototyping yet so yeah don't don't blame me for this one but yeah as i said it was very complex because i had to learn how to use editor widget blueprints how to expose this sequencer stuff so here's the sequencer stuff to blueprints as well so that i can so that i could reuse it in this UI basically and here I was yeah playing around with some stuff and mm, yeah that's the workflow that, that's the idea have the same workflow but with the ability to move around our bones with control rig and use the inverse the IK animating chain or FK animating chain what you prefer that's supported bones and then have a custom control which allows us to move this rifle around and then key it yeah and normally <laughs> you do it once for one frame and yeah, then you go to the next one and yeah move it around again <laughs> and that's a lot of work which i don't like i really hate repetitive tasks i like to automate them if it's possible and this one is possible very well but before we or before we dive into the workflow let me show you explain you a little bit how the implementation works so 
I was using this control rig here. It's called CR Mannequin. Yeah, <laughs> it's from Lyra. And it's, yeah, it's done very properly. I really like the setup phase here because you can just simply migrate a control rig to a new character and it aligns the controls out of the box for you. And I was very surprised how well it worked. So yeah, this one is done very well. Metahuman stuff mm, did not work very well with this Twin Blast. <laughs> so if you cover or if you follow me on on, on uh, how it's called Instagram, you will see my journey with messed up characters. <laughs> very fun, a very funny feed. So check it out. It's the last one which I published at the time of recording this video. I will also put down a link in the description below to this post if you want to cover it. Um, yeah, so what I did is basically also align the IK handgun control, which I introduced into this rig, that's an extension to the IK handgun bone. I can say it very quickly. I have to talk a lot about it. And then, yeah, we have a proper yeah, base location. So, and also, sadly, I don't know why, but <laughs> that's so badly supported in all tools we use with Unreal Engine, the IK one. I don't know if somebody forgot how to how they work or did not understand, but basically just move them to the normal locations of the bones from the character, like the legs, uh, like the, the, the feet or the hands. That's it. It's nothing more. And for that, we could yeah create a huge chain with those get transform a uh, get transform for control and set transform for bone and forward solver and we are happy right but i thought hmm, why not reuse the information we already have with those arrays here basically we want to reuse our stuff right so that we have a fluent workflow so we can reuse those yeah arrays or lists of constraints we want to use and for that i implemented the custom node so let me know in the comments below if you really want to learn as well and cannot figure it out on your own how to implement custom control rig nodes in C++ or in Blueprints. That's also possible. So let me know in the description below if you want to have it. Then I will create a tutorial for you. It's not much code. It can be covered in a few minutes. Um, and then you have a basic working frame and can dive into it, deeper into it in your custom use cases. So let me hurry up a little bit. I, I'm talking way too much. Um, yeah, so we have two ways basically how we want or two use cases how we want to use the IK handgun bone. One is we want to constrain it on the right hand. That's this array here. And the other one is we want to really, really move it around based on our control and basically animate our bone, right? And for that, we at first need to align our IK hand root bone to the root bone of the character and then we can constrain the rest bones, uh, the rest of the bones. And yeah, as you see, I'm using a variable here. That's also possible in, in uh, blueprints. I'm really surprised how well, how flexible it is, really how flexible it is. And also I implemented a new node that's not finished yet where we can use our data table again. That's very convenient. So here we have a variable where we set our data table and we set the row basically. Then we call this node in the setup event and store those constraints in the uh, local variable. That's very convenient later. If we want to migrate stuff, then we can just select a new, uh, a new row, hopefully. I did not test it this yet very well, but I think it will work. Also, autocompile works out of the box. I'm so happy with this workflow or with this control rig version. It yeah, will improve my work after retargeting, tweaking animations and so on, fixing poses, changing them a little bit so much. And yeah, I will also show you a little bit more why. Also, guys, this one is amazing, really. Those nodes properly align all controls to the correct bounds. And you don't have to mess around with clicking here and say, yeah, I want to align it here and there. That's a lot of work, which we don't want to do. 
and we have here in your Unreal Engine 5 the setup event and the library control which provides those nodes. They work perfectly out of the box. I had nothing to change really for Twin Plus as well. That just done some warnings, which we yeah like, like a good developer knows. Yeah, you can ignore those warnings, right? It will not mess up anything. So yeah, don't care about it, right? But I will because <laughs> it's a potential error source. Really, I fix all warnings if I can. Um, yeah, so we talked a lot, a lot about control rig. So let's go back into our workflow. And normally you bake the animation sequence and store it again. And then you would have to replace your animation in the animation profile. And if we did it once, it's not so, it's not a so good workflow, right? The sequence supports linking animation sequences. And if you click here on this save button, it will store it or will save the data in a new one. But we want to use an existing one as developers of a, of, of a locomotion system or users, basically. And for that, I implemented a custom node as well, where we can select an animation sequence, like here in the, in the content browser, click here on this button and say, yeah, we want to use this one and set linked animation sequence. So then we're happy because everything is connected to each other. And if I click here on the save button, it will also save the frames basically to this animation sequence. So we could also play the game while editing those, um, those keyframes. But yeah, then <laughs> you would still have to manually move them around. And for that, we move the cursor to a proper location here and click on this magic button and click on estimate and it will create for us some keyframes and as you see it tries to follow the hand so it's fully automated you could tweak the arms with the controls or here also tweak tweak those location a little bit for example like rotating and i don't know rotating it this way really depends on what what you're looking for then press enter again and it's key so that's that's a very convenient workflow in my view. Very convenient. And if we click on save again, as you will see, we can still let the preview open and directly see our result. That's a very fluent workflow. I really like this workflow, really. And we show all bones and yeah, sure. Our Virtual bonds are still messed up, like always, right? And for that, I also implement the custom button, which you click, which you click on here. And as you see, our virtual bonds get aligned. So you can fix them afterwards. I will try to get it working if you click here on say on the save button, and then constrain those bonds again. So yeah, that's that's the workflow I'm aiming for, and it's a very fluent workflow. I really like this one and it will allow me as a non art animator to fix <laughs> IK handgun bonds as well and yeah I'm really happy that I got this working as I said it was very complex <laughs> and very complicated at some times as well so yeah for anyone who supported me wh while I was working on this topic thanks a lot guys for listening to my yelling voices <laughs> or yelling sentences and I was really crying really the code is quite complex and or the sequencer system is quite complex in c++ there are so many classes and methods and so on as you see that's the code i'm using behind the scenes uh, to get basically a location of the control estimate the hand, the skeleton mesh bonds and so on that's that was a lot of work really even it's an 800 lines of code i might shrink it down a little bit that's the functions i implemented so here is the baking sequence function we can also get the function we can also get the animation sequence we can get the control rig names uh, the control the control rig control names <laughs> that's very confusing all the time the cursor current cursor uh, frame the frame lengths and so on adds a lot of functions which are exposed through a, a u blueprint function library if you don't know how this works you should watch my other tutorials i show how to how to use them so yeah and we are getting way too long here 
you might get bored already, right? Um, the last thing I have to mention is I will not make this open source, sadly, guys, because it was so much work and it would also not allow me to, yeah, give you guys the skeleton meshes. I'm not sure if I would allow it. Would, I would be allowed to share them on GitHub. But for that, I'm aiming for a version, paid version on the marketplace, which gives you also the IK rigs, the, IK, um, the control rig, which I'm using here, and yeah, support for the Pagon Twin Plus, because that's the guy I'm very working a lot with, and the UE4 mannequin and the UE5 mannequin. And I will also cover the, the quins, basically, so the females of the mannequins from UE4 and UE5 and I will get them working with the toolings here and provide every setting you need so you could then start out of the box without watching my long videos <laughs> learning every detail about Rita today. So yeah that's basically it we will cover more topics soon also about my side scroller game in another dev vlogs. So happy coding to you and happy fixing your Locomotion systems with, with TT Toolbox. See you in the next one.